Hello everyone, and this is a spur of the moment video where I am currently in the process of doing some upgrades to the organization of the greenhouse and the setup. And so I bought, I brought in a couple new shelves. This one was for the cacti before, but the cacti are under there now. And this, these, this one I just bought. This is a piece of it. I didn't want to stack it all the way up. And so I'm using these to put plants on some of the brighter, cooler grower things that would like the cooler winter. I've put out here, and then I'm moving things forward in here so that the back side where it's shade, super shady, there's nothing growing in there because not a lot of the orchids that I have, like pretty much all of them don't grow that shady. And I got like some more cattleyas out here. This one I got from High Desert Orchids, a uh, little bit of shipping marks, but otherwise looks good. Uh, here's that tag. Might as well update you on what's blooming as well. Although I'm pretty sure both of those are, are not Potinara anymore, but I don't know what they are yet. Uh, Dendrobium spectaboli. Come on, get in focus. Smells delightful. It's like a rosy sugar fragrance with a little bit of spice on it, and a little bit of vanilla. And it's in full bloom. Let's see if I can get the spike to orient around a little bit better. Okay, so not really, but that's something. Come on. Okay. This guy is in bloom. This is uh, pro, pro, uh, Procatavola or something like that, I think. So, something similar to that. Uh, Green Glade Shugetsu AMAOS. It's got two flowers open, and the, the, the camera actually makes it look much more yellow than it actually is. It's like this lime, kind of like sherberty green. Here's the other flower. And this is a beautiful... Uh, it's got Maria and Digbiana in the background, and, and, and like the, 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 pretty close to the foreground. And it's just a beautiful flower. Uh, Cyanopsis valentinii is open again. And smelling wonderful. And I've already got actually the next bud on the way. Hoping that second spike, because I accidentally broke the tip off of it, uh, regrows. Uh, my Cyanopsis shilleriana silver leaf is doing pretty well. Lots of root growth and leaf growth, as well as. Don't know how well it will show up, but there's a spike right there at the crook where the root is. So that's exciting, and I haven't had that one bloom before. Uh, also in bloom, uh, the only way I know this one is Odontonia Pacific Paranoia. I, I, I know it changed since then. It's, it smells good, a little bit of spice. Yeah, that's nice. It's a, it's a Trader Joe's buy, because I've been wanting to find that one. Uh, Galliandra Bowerai open again and smelling delightful it smells like raspberry candy after the mosquito I've got spray on but they still bother me also in spike are Oncidium Sherry Baby Red Fantasy and there it is right there this is uh, Cygno Cygnoches Wurzavigii this guy's in bloom Bulbophyllum Adorable Candy Ann. It's, it's probably going to be done within a couple days. It's already been open three, and they don't last too long. This one smells like fish. Like a fish market. Like you walked by the fish market or the grocer. But this is five blooms in a, like a perfect presentation. And the, of course the jiggly lips. Uh, what else we got going on? I know there's more. I just got to remember. Uh, the Cymbidium that I got. Uh, I got a Cymbidium a while ago and rebloomed it. But I broke the tip on this one. The tip died back, and this one I broke the tip on. So I've got four buds in total. So that's nice. But at least it's better than nothing. And so I'm, what I'm doing right now is the whole point of this is I'm just making room so that there's room for the plumerias and whatnot to come inside. I've already got one of the plumerias. It's just kind of hiding under there. And there's the electronics and the storage items. The Hoya, which is in bud, or the Hoyas. One of them is in bud. The cat I got a bunch of catacetums recently, like in, in the meantime. One of them is kind of, or hide it sitting right there, it's uh, Cyg Cygnoches cooperi. And the, the Wars of Itchy Eye is fairly new as well. I got that one at the October uh, Orchid Society meeting for the Houston Orchid Society. And then I got a bunch of other catleas and sword things from a friend of mine who wanted to pass them on. Like this is one of them here. This is RLC, uh, Sachiko, uh, Tesquawa, blah blah blah, I can't pronounce that. I'm sorry, that's, uh, Ascavanda or whatever, uh, Lilac Blossom. That was one that, not a, obviously not a Catlia, but I got it. This one's one that's gonna be really exciting when it gets, uh, gets ready to bloom. This is, uh, 
this plant that's kind of keeps keeps sitting over, but it's actually not. There's like the big bulb right here. Uh, that's Catlia triad uh, trianae or trianae trianae. I don't know. Uh, Cashins FCC AOS X self. So that's going to be a really top quality plant. Uh, this one I got recently from Sunset Valley Orchids, uh, Clawacetum Alexandra Savi, which is uh, Cloisia Rebecca Northern crossed on Cascadacetum denticulatum. This is blooming size and should bloom. Uh, where's the other one? I have another one and I, I can't remember where I set it. It's in here somewhere. Oh well, I'll find it in a bit. That, uh, I have another one that is... Um, uh, Cloisia gray stun crossed on Mormode or Mormode's uh, hooker eye, and I just got her. I don't remember where. Oh, there it is, right in front of me. This guy right here. It's kind of hiding behind the pole, the pole there. So just it's just a lot of lot of growth happening, but also some spikes and some blooms. Actually, this uh, this Phalaenopsis right here. It's just a no AD Phalaenopsis. It's one of the co only couple I have left. But it's in spike. I haven't seen this one bloom before. It's a spike right there, not a root. And so that'll be interesting to see. Oops, and overexposed. And so it's just like, it's a windy, cloudy day. That, if you can see it's fall, like the leaves are starting to color and fall down. So I'm getting the greenhouse ready for that. I've already got the heaters running, the temperature's up. And I'm just kind of, and I hope you can hear me over the wind. Let me step in here a little bit. I've also been doing the insulation. You might be able to tell, like I've got that panel done. This panel is already done, but it's, it's just a double layer of the plastic, and it works just fine. I did the back today, and I started the top. There's, uh, oops, overexposed. One there, a strip there, and a strip down there that I started. And then I got to do the front, which will be tricky, because it's got to be able to move with the cover. But other than that, not a whole lot else happening. It's just kind of getting ready to work. I just started work again. But it's a beautiful, well, not beautiful, it's windy and actually quite hot for November. But anyway, I will put up another video later this week as soon as I get a chance because I am working. Like, an actual job working, so I, I have less time than I already didn't have. And so I will be sure to update you guys on the progress when everything is fully set up for the winter. We're almost there. We get, we've been getting into the low 50s, high 40s on the coldest nights and so we've got it's a little it's on the colder side it's not I, I, we can still get we get typically in the 40s and 50s in the winter and then in occasional rare frosts but they do happen but the greenhouse is more than capable of withstanding that i can't well, i'm looking forward to the spring season and all the orchids are just everywhere i'm just kind of spreading them out a little bit more as well and then i'm gonna t probably move that second heater in there I don't know if I like it where it is, because I want I want the greenhouse to be warm overall and not just mainly inside that inner frame, because the heat the heaters are focused in there because most of the plants are over here, but now that I'm scattering plants out and I don't want it to be just cold everywhere, I'm gonna be more cautious about that. I'm just gonna get that done. So anyway, I'll let you I'll let everyone go. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Do hope you enjoyed this video and thanks thank you so much.